Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to be finally back on YouTube. Today I have an exciting video for you all and it is the Egypt travel vlog. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So we are in the plane on our way to Frankfurt, Germany. This was the longest flight I've ever taken in my entire life, so it definitely was an experience. Let me know in the comment section below what is the coolest place you've ever traveled to, and how long was the flight? Okay guys, I won't lie to you, I'm feeling so motion sick and they just brought us dinner I guess. So I'm going to show you what we have for dinner, this is what the sky looks like right now. Okay, so I ordered the vegetarian meal. So I think this is a vegetarian pasta with some bread, a salad, and I think this is chocolate cake or a brownie, yeah. So it actually does smell amazing, especially this pasta. So I'm hoping my stomach won't hate me after this. I am just trying to, I guess, stabilize myself because I'm feeling a little motion sick still, but this is what dinner looks like. We have two meals on this flight, so this is the first one. At this point, my best bet was just to stay asleep because if I was awake, I would throw up. So I did a little skincare, did my hair, went to bed, and then they brought our second meal out after I woke up and it was just a wrap, which honestly, all I really ate was the fruit. And then we had another flight to Egypt after this, but I was so sick, you guys, that I couldn't even record. Like, your girl was shaking. I was so unwell. Guys, it's 7 p.m. Here in Egypt, my body clock, I don't know what time it is, but um, they lost their luggage. Not really lost it, but they didn't fit it on our flight, so we had to wait two hours for it to come on another flight. Now the luggage is finally here, but we're not seeing ours, and it's just a little bit of a hassle. As you know, like I literally was throwing up every single flight. Um, the end of the nine hour one to Frankfurt, and then from Frankfurt to Cairo, it's like a three hour flight, and I was throwing up literally the whole time. like. I couldn't open my eyes. Like when I was sleeping, I was fine. And then I opened my eyes and then I'd throw up and then I'd be so tired from throwing up, I fell asleep again. So that was just the cycle for like three and a half hours, which was lovely. So I'm just looking forward to getting to our hotel room and crashing for the night. One plus side of this whole escapade, I guess, is that we are going to be going to bed like their time kind of you know what I mean so our bodies can adjust better um so yeah this is what I'm currently looking at but I can barely drink a few sips of water I can't eat anything drink anything else because I'll literally just throw it up TMI but it's been a rough traveling day to say the least and I just can't wait to get to our hotel which is an hour drive away by the way so pray for me y'all that this motion sickness kind of subsides a little more before we get into this hour car ride. After about two hours, our luggage finally arrived and then we had to go look for the Uber that we booked. I would definitely suggest Uber over taxis because they're just better priced. But I just want to also say that throughout this trip, I was praying to God 
to allow us to meet the people we need to meet and to avoid the people we need to avoid and for him just to put a hedge of protection over us which he definitely did on multiple occasions on a side note one thing that's really cool about egyptian hotels is once you arrive they give you a welcome fruit drink which was really cool and that we noticed at every single hotel we checked into this was the first one we were at it was okay but we were only there for one night so it did its job it is currently 4 30 a.m and we slept for probably six hours, but now we're like quite hungry. So we're gonna go look at their 24 hour, go look at their 24 hour, I don't know, thing to eat, but this is what our hotel looks like. I know where everyone's rooms are, and then they're just really cool. Yeah, so let's go get some breakfast. I think we're gonna try going to sleep after this so we can get more climatized to their time zone. Those are really cool. We're gonna go here today. I feel like this vlog is all over the place. Like bad lighting, no makeup, like, but it is been interesting. We just had a little bit of a mini breakfast. Um, we had three, these cheese pate pastries with two apple juice. We're just gonna go back to bed to get some shut eye and wait till things start opening up more. guys it is currently 8 a.m egypt time and i'm gonna get ready for the day um starting with my skincare and stuff and i just wanted to pop on here and just talk to you guys about what we're gonna do today and all that fun stuff i need a bottle of water because i don't know how my face is gonna react to this so i'm gonna just clean my face with bottled water first but we are just so blessed to be here and we are just so tired that we just Kind of fell asleep we're going to see the pyramids today hopefully the sphinx as well ride a camel or two possibly which i'm really excited for i also want to go shopping for like a cute long flowy kind of like egyptian outfit we also need to get outlet converters for egypt because none of our phone chargers work so we're charging our phones via our laptop and I mean, it's, it works, but like our laptops are dead now. So we need to get a converter so we can charge our phones. Cause we are not, we're not staying in this hotel another day. We extended our stay till 2 p.m. So our, our luggage has a place to stay while we're on all of our tours. And that means we kind of have to hurry. We have to do our tour and do all our shopping before 2 p.m. After that, we plan on going back to the airport and staying at a hotel near there because we are wanting to take a flight to another part of, um, it's not Cairo, but another part of Egypt, closer to the Red Sea. And so tonight we'll stay there. The pyramids are probably like a 20 minute drive from here rather than like an hour and something. So we're gonna do that. My stomach is feeling a lot better today. Like my motion sickness is like calming down but I could still feel like it's still there a little bit. So I'm trying to, you know, decompress. But I'm really excited to show you guys the pyramids, film some cute Instagram content. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, it is at marybear365, and I'm gonna be posting some cute reels from all my travels, so make sure you go follow me there. I'm going to wash my hair today and just rock the natural curls because None of my curlers or crimper irons work here because the plugins are not the same and it's not too humid or warm so hopefully my hair doesn't frizz out. But we're gonna do that and I'll just show you the finished product because I'm trying to save storage on my phone for other videos and pictures and so let's get doing that. Let's go. Let's go. On our way to the pyramids, our driver and hotel strategically planned for us to go to little experiences like this where they showed us how they make papyrus 
and the first ever paper made so we can buy little trinkets and souvenirs for family back home. These stops were not too long and they were very interesting and they were on the way to our main experience which was the camel ride through the pyramids. So we enjoyed even the perfume stop and just the whole experience. It really taught us and showed us the difference in culture and we honestly learned a lot. You guys, before I show you this beautiful montage of us camel riding through the pyramids, look at how the camel goes down and do you see that vertical yeah your girl almost fell off the first time trying to get on there so when he says lean back just lay down If you've never been to the pyramids before, I would definitely put it on your bucket list because it was so, so amazing just to see the history and what it looks like today. So I'm gonna insert some pictures from my Instagram and my camera roll so you guys can kind of get the gist of what it was like in photo form, but I would definitely suggest put it on your bucket list. Okay guys, so we are currently at a stop and they actually have McDonald's here. If you can kind of see the yellow M right there, they have McDonald's, but we're not stopping for McDonald's. Our driver is actually getting us adapters for our phones so we can charge them, but we're just in here. We made it to our second hotel here in Cairo. We're right next to the airport. This is La Page, I think it is. And I am so ready to just have a shower after those camel ridings. <laughs> okay, little room tour. Here is the bathroom. This is much better than our previous hotel. Just regular bathroom things. Okay, and here is the bedroom here. A closet. Ooh, the view looks amazing though. View of the grounds. Very nice. Okay, guys, we finally got the charging adapter, and I'm pleased to say that my phone is now charging, and we are just about to relax. So, we are heading to dinner, and I'm just wearing this super simple fit, these shoes, and like my loose jeans. Sorry, the room is an absolute mess. My hair is in a bun. We are so, so tired, but literally guys i had maybe hmm, half a shawarma today and then i didn't eat any more and half an orange and that's all i've eaten for the past two days so i could see your face in the background <laughs> so we are rushing to eat <laughs> Okay guys, so we are currently waiting for our shuttle to go to our airport because we're going to our next destination in Egypt and it is an all-inclusive resort, so we're really excited about that. So 
So we took the Uber to Terminal 2, we were supposed to go to Terminal 1. Now we are heading to Terminal 2 via, I guess, the train shuttle. So yeah, we're hoping to make our flight. Our flight's at like 8.30, but I think we'll be okay. It's only 7.18. because we're gonna be here for a few days. It's gonna be nice to be in one spot and not traveling so much. The past few days, the two days we've been here in Egypt, we stayed at two different hotels an hour apart from each other. So it's nice that we could just be here and just like zen out, chill, be calm. Tomorrow I'm gonna plan a bunch of photo shoots, I think. Today we're gonna check out the beach, the pool situation. And then I also wanna check out the spa, see what they have going on. They do have some cool like souvenir, like stores here, but we don't know if we're gonna drive into town, get a taxi, explore a little bit. Um, I'm probably pronouncing this completely wrong, but it's like Sharm El Sheikh or something. That's where we are at. So I'm excited, I'm happy. And yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. Guys, you will not believe the view right now. Massage tables. Look at the flowers right here. You have a coral reef. Are you kidding me? And then you see the mountains in the background. Do you see the mountains in the background? Guys, I'm shocked. We're shocked in the best way. Look at the beautiful, gorgeous flowers and palm trees. I feel like I'm living in my just travel Moana era. Every day we were here, we were just in awe of the nature, from the flowers to the palm trees and the coral reef. It was just so beautiful and we were having a blast. Not to mention the sunrises and sunsets were just indescribable. The video doesn't even do its justice. It's just so, so beautiful. Okay guys, so a little update. Sorry the lighting is bad, but I'm currently in bed just resting up as my husband goes and figures out some room things. We're over 20, like maybe over 12 hours difference, maybe 20 something hours difference. And my body's been fine, but I'm just finally relaxed knowing that we're gonna be here for a few days. And my body is just like, thank goodness. So I'm just laying here relaxing. I'll show you what the sky looks like right now. It is very beautiful. Make sure you go follow my Instagram. And if you aren't, and if you're late to the scene and you haven't seen my stories, it's all in my highlights, so you'll be able to catch up. But this is what the Red Sea looks like right now. Beautiful sunset. I'm just chilling by our room, in our room by myself, just waiting for Roman to come back. And then we'll head to dinner at 6.30. This trip has been really life-changing. I can't believe we saw the pyramids, did a camel ride through the pyramids, saw the Sphinx, 
literally guys i'm trying to get some underwater content i don't know how well it's gonna work with the iphone but the water is so crystal clear there's like rainbow colors of fish down there coral reefs with like we're allowed to interact with the coral reef it is just so amazing so right outside our hotel there's a coral reef that you could just swim like walk onto the beach and swim with the fish we're gonna get some scuba gear scuba gear i'm gonna try doing some underwater content for you guys um and i'm just really excited it's so beautiful like no offense to other countries or whatever but guys i've been to mexico two times this year no like i feel like north americans go to mexico because it's close but there's places like this in the world that exist dude i would definitely rather go here even though the flights can be a little more expensive and the travel is so much longer it is just so worth it now it literally feels like a slice of heaven like if you can imagine what heaven would be like like the clear water it just feels so fresh when you dive in. it just hard to explain and i'm hoping that these videos do a little bit of justice even though i know they won't but like when i'm here in these kind of climates like my natural hair is out i am makeup free like i feel like i'm living my best life and i would highly suggest like if you ever have the opportunity or even think about going to egypt like dude book a flight to egypt egypt is like a must visit it is gorgeous the people are great everyone at this resort actually speaks russian because they're all vacationing from you know that area of the world so i guess it's closer for us i think of it as this way for north americans we go to mexico because it's like closer and that's what we think of for people in europe or you know like russia ukraine kazakhstan like they come here because this is their mexico and it is so gorgeous like I can't explain it, but I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. This is a little check-in. I'm gonna rest up a little bit before we head to dinner in a few hours, and I'll catch up with you guys then. desert because we are going quadding quadding ATVing I kind of threw this on real quick so I might have to fix it when we're in the desert but you kind of get the vibes for the photos the videos but we're taking a private tour so it'll be really fun and after my nap it, I feel so much better we actually came from scuba diving at 2 30 now it's like 3 30 but yes we are just waiting the shuttle bus and then we're gonna head to the desert and quad through the mountains. Okay, and then fold this up. The lady who sold me this taught me and then you just wrap it around and then you tuck it in. And then when I'm riding the quad, I'm gonna do this.
guys. So we are actually right in the middle, taking a break from our quadding through the desert. I hope you guys enjoyed that little content. My husband filmed really a lot of videos for that. So thank you to him. But we are right here, chilling. This is what it looks like. We had a lot of fun and I just can't wait. As you can see, we're both wearing white. We didn't think about this properly because these are, I don't know if this is gonna come out. We're all dusty. Yeah, it's, it's just dust. Yeah, but yeah, we're happy. we had a lot of fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip, probably at the hotel. look at our resort we're heading to the beach for the last time taking a little photo shoot and then heading to the airport where we went diving yesterday and there's the dock where the coral reefs are literally right there okay guys it's a little loud because the boat's passing by but it is our last day here at the resort we are just literally laying down and tanning enjoying the sun it's actually really bright i could barely see but this is our last little dip in the ocean before we shower and head back to our room because we need to pack and get ready for the airport because we have a flight later this evening and then another one tonight because we we're heading to a wedding but i wanted to pop on here and kind of, you know, end off the Egypt vlog. Yeah, we're going to end it off here and I will see you guys in the next clip. One last look at the Red Sea. We are heading out, all packed up, heading in to town, hopefully to get some food and just to pass time while we're waiting for our next flight. We are currently walking out of the resort area. Some of the guests told us that the bus that the hotel provides and the taxi, they charge you like $40 to take you into town, but regular taxi drivers park a little bit outside the gate here and they would charge you like $10. So we're taking a little walk to the taxi place. guys we're at a restaurant right next to these stores we're eating some authentic Egyptian food here guys I'm getting the lamb shank with some rice and if I want more saucy things I'm gonna just try some of these but I'm really excited I don't know I just think it's a combo okay so this is a lemon and mint drink the first thing we're gonna try Mm. Honestly, this tastes like a virgin mojito. So good. I would give this. It's like the perfect level of sweet. I'd give this like a 9 out of 10. It is very refreshing. Okay, guys, so the food just came and we are about to eat. What is that? Can you break that open? I want to see what it looks like on the inside. Rice. Rice? Okay. We're about to eat. <laughs> okay. We're going to try the food. Mine is the lamb shank. That right there, that lamb shank is 50 out of 10. Oh my gosh. It's so tender and flavorful. It's eating the lamb. Let's try the rice. Mm. 
Egyptian rice. That is so good. This is the Egyptian food we were waiting for. Now we'll try the bread with the dip. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like that flavor at all. I don't like it. You don't like any of the bitter. Yeah. yeah, the bitter flavor. I don't, I don't think bitter a little. I'm gonna stick to my lime shake. It's so delicious. <laughs> Seriously, the, our last day in Egypt, we have the best Egypt food. Okay. We're gonna sit and enjoy our food. Okay, guys, that whole meal that you saw was $25 USD. Can you imagine? Oh, there's a little cat friend right here. It was $25 USD, can you imagine? And look at our little cat friend making his round. He made it out of the restaurant. Oh no, there's more of them. Look, they're all the same. So we're at the airport at Sharm El Sheikh and we're going to fly to Cairo. Just stopping for some coffee. Hey everyone, so it is currently almost 7 p.m. December 31st. We're waiting for the train to head to our correct terminal. Everything is obviously written in Arabic and sometimes English as well. So we're just kind of playing scavenger hunt sometimes, looking for which terminal we need to be in, which gate, you know, when the train is coming, which one, which stop is next, but it's fun. We have a lot of time to kill. Our next flight is probably in a few hours, so will be fine. My husband and I are so sad to leave Egypt because it is so beautiful. Like we've already talked about like coming back and having like a few weeks here because it is so stunning and definitely like bringing our kids here to vacation. Like this is our favorite place we've ever been thus far together separately. Like the most beautiful place we've ever traveled and experienced. It is 3 a.m. and we finally made it to our hotel in Uganda. It's looking really nice. Quick little room tour. The little coffee area. I think the fridge will be down here. Yep, fridge. Here's the bathroom. Just, you know, bathroom things. It's actually quite spacious, which is nice. Ooh, and I love these kind of mirrors. Let's see, put it. Oh, it's kind of yellow, but. Yeah, so it's 3 a.m. and we're probably gonna FaceTime my family and then head right to bed. It is currently January 1st, so Happy New Year!